Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing Who Is Your Soulmate? And let's get started with this reading. We're gonna see into the nitty gritty details. So we have group number one, group number two, and group number three. So let's get started. Please choose your group and we're gonna start off with group number one. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. Let's see who your future partner is. So we have the Emperor. We then have the High Priestess. And we have the Page of Cups. So I'm going to pull some more cards out for you guys. And we're going to see what else we have. Dolphin Atlantis. Healing Wisdom is Surfacing. Stop and Listen. A Leg Up. Semi Sextile. Seventh House. Relationships. Third House. Perception. Gemini the Butterfly. We then have Loss number 12. This is the... Uh, this is to do with um, Pisces. This is Pisces, I'm pretty sure. And then we also have Aquarius here as well. Okay, so in terms of this soulmate, I feel like they're going to come in at the right time that's right for you. I feel like this person is most likely going to come in, I'm um, feeling about seven months for you guys. Um, I feel like this person is, gonna, this, this is timeless by the way, guys, this reading. So it depends on whenever you kind of come across this reading. Um, I feel like this person... <laughs> it's most likely going to have fire quite strongly in their chart. Um, but you, I feel like you could be an air sign as well. It doesn't have to be. But I feel like you're very intuitive. Okay. I feel like you're very intuitive and, and you're going to sense when this person is going to come in. I feel like you're going to meet this person through like an arty endeavor. I feel like it's going to be like, it's really interesting because you've got like this wind coming in here. And then we also have the wind coming in here. So I feel like you're both going to know when this is the right person. It's almost like... The universe is going to be well it's, it is like the universe is going to be pushing you together um i definitely feel like you're going to meet this person in some sort of arty place i feel like it's going to be a place where you both are you're both expressing who you are so you could be doing a job that's to do with your like something creative it could be an artwork it could be selling things that you've made and i feel like this person's going to connect to you over that in some sort of way. I feel like it's definitely something quite young, like a young energy. I feel like this group is mainly related to those of you who are, I think, around like 38 under. Obviously not to like put you in a category, but for you guys, this is very young energy. I feel like this is very, very young energy. Obviously, please don't click off if you are older than that because you may be, you may think you're like very, very young at heart, that sort of thing. Um, I just feel like this is very, very young energy. Um, but I feel like you guys have been through like a massive loss. I feel like you've been through a lot. Um, but you're really learning to embrace who you are. You're learning to embrace like the bigger sides of life. And I feel like you guys, this person's going to help you in your life. I feel like they're going to come in and help you. So whatever you're going through at this moment, whenever you're watching this video, I feel like this person's going to really help you expand and move forward and really kind of open up to any new endeavors that you haven't actually kind of gone into yet um and i feel like this person is very much connected to their soul so i feel like this person can be very very spiritual very very um light energy very kind of wispy like very fairy like this person is most likely gonna be a fire a fire sign pisces gemini um or aquarius okay most likely it doesn't have to be but can be so this person's definitely gonna want a relationship with you full on straight away. I feel like this person is not gonna be debating whether whether they want a relationship. I feel like they're definitely gonna want one. And this semi-sextile allowing is very, very beautiful. I feel like they're gonna just allow things to kind of move through. And with this relationship, you're gonna need to nurture it like you would like a baby or a plant. So it's basically just constantly just kind of like being very adult and mature. I feel like both of you are very adult and mature in this relationship anyway. Communication is gonna be really, really good. Um, the way you both interact with each other through social media or through texting is gonna be really, really good. Most likely gonna call you every single day, text you every single day. And let's see, there's something else I wanted to cover. There could be a photographer. They could like photographing shoes, uh, street art, clothing, <clears throat> that sort of thing. Um, their favorite animal could be like a pig or something. I'm really focusing on this pig here. And yeah, they're very, very light energy. There's something else I wanted to say, but it's not coming through, it's stuck. <laughs> there was something else I wanted to say and it's gone. But yeah, this person's very, very spiritual. Very like proud and very strong energy i feel like they're like an authority figure so they could be a boss in their work okay 
So we have Ocanite, Past Life Patterns. We then have Apophyllite Connect, and then we also have Rutilated Quartz Home. Look how very similar all of these crystals are. I feel like you're both going to be a very similar, very similar people. This person's most likely from your past life. I'm going to say pretty much yes, <laughs> from your past life. Um, you both are going to be very connected on a soul level and a very spiritual level, high level. That's what I was going to say. You can meet them on the seventh month, so uh, January, February, March, April, May june july so july time around july time okay so it could be any year you're watching this 2020 2021 you know whenever you're watching this i feel like it could be seven is just going to be a really important number for you guys so i really feel like that's going to be um of significance and i'm really fully to pull a a number for you guys we have got number four and number two so that could also be your numbers let's just pull a number for this group okay so we have judgment can we give me a number Number four, right, I do feel like number four is very, very prominent for you guys, very stable, and you're both going to be ending an old karmic connection or an old, like, piece of hearing piece of karma that you have been kind of um, dealing with, and you're really going to be releasing that, and once you do, this is when this person comes in, okay, and it's going to be really strong relationship, this person is very, very reliable, I feel like they're so mature, um, yeah, I really do feel like... And obviously, as I said, this, this isn't age, like, restricting. And I know I said I, it's, like, 38 and under. But, guys, honestly, it's just whatever you feel is relating to you. If you feel like this is very much connected to you, obviously, it's going to relate to you, you know. And if it doesn't, then it doesn't. That's totally fine. Right. I definitely feel like amethyst is a really good crystal for you guys. So, if you connect with amethyst, uh, I really feel like it's a really good crystal for you guys to manifest your relationships. And um, I'm also going to be putting up some things on my shop that's coming soon on the 26th of March. So if you're watching this afterwards then, or before, then it's, it, it will be coming soon. And I'm also going to be putting up some attracting love pieces and success, that sort of thing. So if you want to look at my shop, I will link it down below when it is live, okay? Right, so we have the 11th house, Capricorn, and we also have... Uh, I always forget this friggin' planet. What is this planet? Thinking, oh, it's Mercury, duh, okay. <laughs> My brain just went numb. I was like, I normally pick up on Mercury, but this time I really didn't. So I definitely feel like for you guys, it's really, as I say, the connection between you two in terms of the way you communicate is going to be really, 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 really good. Um, and also, I meant to say Pluto, I didn't mean Mercury, okay. But I do feel like Mercury is very strong in this relationship as well. Um, but yeah, I feel like for you guys, it's just really, really important for you guys to... Um, you want to connect through work and social situations. This is to do with social situations, friendships. So you could be friends with this person first. Like you could meet this person through a friend. And I'm giving you so many different options. But as I say, this is a general reading. So it's going to be whatever you feel like is the most accurate for you. Um, but I feel like this person is going to make themselves known quite quickly. They're not going to hide in the shadows. I feel like this person is very, very confident. And yeah, let's pull one more card. We have charity, beautiful. So I feel like this person is going to be very generous to you. I feel like this person is going to be sent to you from the heavens, which is beautiful. Obviously, it don't have to be heaven. It can be from the universe, you know, whatever you kind of connect to. And we also have the number four again with um, cancer. So that's really, really beautiful. So thank you so much for watching, lovelies. I really hope you have a lovely day, evening, morning, wherever you are. Sending you lots and lots of love. And I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, group number two. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see who your soulmate is. So we have the Seven of Cups. We have the Hermit, number nine. And then we also have Judgment, 20. Okay, so let's pull out the rest of these cards. Let's leave a couple of them over there. We're going to start off with these ones first. So we have Inner Child, Monkey. That's really cute. We have Starfish, Intuition. Building blocks, time for a nap, Capricorn, Scorpio, sixth house and second house. Okay, so first of all, I feel like you guys are going to have a very intuitive relationship. I feel like the way this is set out is both of you 
are going to have a very heightened intuition by the time you meet each other or your intuition is going to really feel into this person okay so at the moment you could feel like you're making some sort of decision you are in a hermit mode you're very much going inward and really seeking out what is best for you and what path is best for you and I feel like you're ready to set yourself free your soul is kind of coming in but not to say your soul not to say your soul is coming in, but you'll you'll realize <laughs> that's not right um you're realizing who your soul is that like you're realizing your own soul you're realizing who you are before you came to this planet before the human before the human kind of lesson like kicked in i feel like your natural self is the way is you express yourself you express yourself through dance and i feel like this person's going to see you and see that in you and they're going to be like damn this person is so so beautiful and they're going to see you at a soul level okay they're not going to see you just as your physical attraction they're going to be like really connected to your soul and the way you express yourself and you're really going to be shining with this person i feel like you've possibly gone through quite a lot of heartache with people and now that you're coming you're you're possibly in either of these stages you're ready to break through you're either in habit mode or you're just kind of deciding okay so you could be on either end of the scale um, but I definitely feel like a lot of you, especially at this time right now, we're all integrating our inner selves, you know, we're really, really, really going inward. And I feel like you guys are really, really doing that at the moment. Obviously, this is time in the sky. So whenever you found this reading, that's amazing. Um, but this person, I feel like he's very, uh, loves instruments. I see these as kind of like drums almost, like kind of, he's going to like kind of do that with them. Um, so I feel like this person's very musical. I feel like this person's quite kind of chill quite relaxed could even look like this like could be um like long hair maybe a hat maybe um a caucasian skin you know doesn't really matter but i feel like that could easily be someone who you could be connecting to okay um this person's gone through a lot of transformations just like you i feel like we have it's interesting i've just noticed we have snakes and ladders so they may feel like your life has been like a game um, where you haven't really connected to where you actually where it really want to be and you're like why am I losing this game or why does it feel like I'm losing but actually you're not you're really just you're really just learning who you are at a soul level and you will get there okay so this person is going to make you feel like your inner child is coming out very very strongly and both of you are going to be extremely attracted to each other I feel like this person is going to be building something when you meet them so they could be building their business they could be building a project they could be just working on something that's very close to their heart um, and it could actually be tiring them out because it's like something that's very, very um, close to their heart. It could feel like they're taking a lot of their energy. But I feel like you could also be in habit mode when you meet this person. OK, so this person could even help you to reach this higher level. You know, I feel like this is so interesting because we have like little tiny dots here and we have little tiny dots here. And it's almost like the path almost goes round and up here. It's almost like you're going inward. And then you're suddenly going out, which is like, how beautiful is that? I feel like that's so beautiful because it's almost like what the water here is kind of going round and then like that and kind of going up and out. It's just it's just so beautiful, guys. It's almost like you're so ready to expand. So this group, I feel like you're very, very close to your relationship. I feel like extremely close for some of you two months, you know, obviously it's just, uh, you know, take it as it resonates. But I feel like you're both going to meet each other um, when you're both working on yourself. You could be meeting at work. You could be meeting... Um, where are we? I feel like you could be meeting through work. I feel like you could be meeting to do with health. So it could be something like you're... Um, you have bought some new kind of, I don't know, like dumbbells or like going to the gym obviously when everything's sorted you know around the world um going to the gym you know i feel like there's some sort of health related thing here like a very positive one you know like you're deciding you want to make i don't know um like a different incense you want to make oils you want to make even like candles you should be working at a spa there's some sort of like really organic health thing here like i feel like it's an alternative therapy i feel like reiki could even be even be tarot you know that could even be health related so i feel like this person could even be a capricorn or a scorpio could be you as well but i feel like this person could also be a water sign just in general could be air as well here so we have the second house of assets this person um very much is connected to their finances they like financial security so that's going to be very very important to them and they're going to provide you with financial security this person i'm getting number 52 so some of you guys um who are in like the older kind of region i feel like this person if you're about 40 
42 to about 48 i thought this person was going to be about 52 that's just like a very big range okay guys that obviously is a general reading um for those of you who are quite young i feel like i'm getting this person's going to be about three years older than you and when i say young i'm talking like between like you know teenage years to 30 you know i mean guys just take it as it resonates you know but i feel like this person's about three years older than you obviously depend obviously you just take it as it resonates guys okay so this is just what i'm getting intuitively i'm sorry if it can be a little bit confusing um yeah i really feel like it's i'm getting <laughs> i'm getting marks and spencers which is like a british clothing brand and uh, i don't know why i'm getting that so just bear that in mind for some of you guys um we also have organization this person's gonna be really 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 organized okay they are very, very organized, okay? Which is great. I feel like you're gonna love that. They've got number 10, so that's really, really beautiful. I feel like they're just so ready to meet you. They're so, so, so ready. Um, and I'm really connecting with the earth on here. They're someone who loves to go forward. They love um, traveling. We've got Mercury in Capricorn and Mercury in Sagittarius. So that's really, really beautiful. So this person is very, very connected to their throat chakra. They love talking. They are very, I would say, very organised. They really love to express themselves. And with the Mercury and Sag, I feel like this person just loves to kind of talk about travel and exploring and they never want to sit still. <laughs> okay, so we have Unikite, live in the present heart chakra. So that's going to help you to manifest this person living in the present, really connected to your heart chakra. Um, and let's see what else. Okay, so... Okay, so we have Leo, first house, and the moon. So this person could have Leo moon, they could have Leo in their first house, could be a Leo. But I feel like this person is very, very extroverted. Not super extroverted, but I feel like they, for some of you, very extroverted. For some of you, they just like to exert themselves um, externally, but they also need the internal. So they can be a mix of internal and external, but also they, a lot of them, a lot of you guys could be connected to somebody who's very, very... Um, uh, extroverted okay so there's somebody who likes traveling as I said um, their moon sign being in Leo they're very caring they love their family and yeah that's really really beautiful okay let's pull a couple of cards here it's gonna do this away from my microphone so it's gonna be really loud Ooh. okay so what you can be doing now is to dream journal that could be something that you're interested in to dream about this person you could draw what they look like you know, I like this. Are you dreaming? Is that, is that what it says? Are you sleeping? Oh, okay. That's cute. She's like sleeping on the bed. That's like her arm and her head. It's cute. And then we also have connected fire. So you could be having a fire um, and just connecting to your inner flame and just really focusing on yourself. And then we also have spend time with friends. Okay, so you could be having a chat with your friends on the phone. Um, yeah, or you could be like physically seeing your friends, you know, doing whatever you need to do, okay? So let's see what, what number wants to come through. Whoa, sorry guys, I may have nearly hit the microphone there. We have the world card, that's really beautiful. So for you guys, massive new start with this relationship, absolutely beautiful. Let's see what else we have. You wanna come through? There we go. Definitely to do with moving forward. I feel like you guys are really gonna be moving forward soon. And you guys are going to have communication from this person. Um, yeah, I feel like this person is quite... They've got quite introverted talents. That is how you're going to meet this person. Very similar to group one, actually. I feel like you're going to meet this person through um, a common interest. I'm hearing just live in the moment. Live in the moment, guys. And we also have the devil, so you could be quite an intimate relationship. Very sexual, very deep, very yummy love that so beautiful um and we also have the ten of cups so you guys are gonna have a family together gonna have like a really strong connection with each other i just keep getting number 38 i don't know why guys so just keep that in mind um but yeah and we also have the number six number one number four number 12 you know you take it as resonates guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this reading sending you love and light out to to you group number two and if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below and i'll speak to you very soon much love Bye. Hello, great number three. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see who is your soulmate. Okay, so we have the Five of Swords. We then have the Strength card. 
and we also have the death and rebirth so this is a very good group i really like this group this is this message came through straight away don't compare yourself to other people who are at the top or who are in a relationship already don't compare yourself with that don't compare yourself with other people because you are your own person and you everyone goes through different stages and if we went through the same stage at the same time it'd be very very boring okay so i really feel like you guys have gone through a lot you've gone through really deep 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 transformation and you're ready to set sail you're ready to um open up and kind of just really be yourself and be the person who you came to this earth to be okay so we have sensitive soul soul tribe poised higher power um no place like home so you guys are very sensitive i feel like this person coming in is going to be very sensitive also but not too sensitive. I feel like you're going to be meeting somebody who can like handle your energy and someone who's going to be helping you um, with your energy and keep you calm. This person is most likely going to be part of your soul tribe, though they, they're telling them they are going to be part of your soul tribe. Okay. I'm also seeing a like a square. So just keep that in mind. That could be a symbol of this person coming in. Very stable. I mean, squares have four sides. So I feel like this person will be very stable The number four. Sorry if you guys can hear me in my squeaky chair. It's very squeaky today. And this person's going to make you feel like you're at home, you know, and I feel like with you guys, I feel like you judge yourself really hard, like you are a perfectionist, you have to have things a certain way, you have to look a certain way. And I feel like you're actually letting go of that now. For some of you guys, you could still have this kind of lingering in your mind, but I feel like you are letting go of this now. And I feel like for some of you guys, you could be wearing like a heart necklace or something like that, and that could help you attract your relationship coming in. I feel like surrounding yourself with hearts and just... Um, in that love energy is very very important and just connecting with your own higher power which is like meditating and just um not being distracted by any negative media or anything like that just being in your own space because that's probably that's, that's the most important thing especially at this moment okay so this person you're most likely going to meet them through a soul tribe so you could meet them through a group of friends you could meet them through a certain person um, but you can also meet them through like a common interest, which is the same for every group. I feel like it's like really interesting how it's all coming together. So we have complexity, empowerment, love path. Yep, <laughs> exactly what I said. Friendships, group activity, community. That's exactly what's coming through. Transformation, the self. Exactly. So you guys are really looking into yourself. You are coming into yourself and you're no longer feeling like everything is so complex and confusing. You're going to have that like release i feel like after everything that's kind of going on in the world i feel like you're kind of going to be once that moves through i feel like you're going to be very very empowered and i feel like you're doing this now i feel like you feel very empowered now you know i feel like it's so so important to just really move through this transformation and to not judge yourself on any emotions that come through because this relationship is going to be extremely transformative you know you guys i feel like i'm focusing more on your energy in this group which is so interesting but I feel like it's because you guys need the messages as well. But I feel like whatever I've said about you is what they're going through also, okay? Because it normally works like that. So we have publicity, we then have devotion, and we also have generosity. So this person's going to be really generous to you. They're going to devote all their time to you. They're going to be so intimate with you. Um, and they're going to constantly be giving you physical attention if that's something that you're into, if that's something that you like. Um, I feel like this person's going to really love astrology. The same, if you like astrology, they're going to love astrology. Um, they're most likely going to be a water sign, I'm feeling like, from this group. But we're also going to look into that a little bit more detail. I'm going to pull some more tarot cards. Could be a Scorpio, could be a Leo, could be an air sign as well. So we have Selenite as well. This person's going to be really connected to um, their crown chakra. So very, very spiritual relationship. You both are going to be like exploring and it's going to be so beautiful. I love this card here. I mean, not the, the bird that's like lying on the ground, dead, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> but I mean like this here. <laughs> Just like ignore the, you know, the dead bird. <laughs> Very weird symbolism on this uh, card deck, but I love it. It's just such a beautiful artwork. Man is a dead bird, okay? <laughs> <laughs> moving on so we have the sun and we have the moon both of you guys are going to be like opposite if you want to work really really well as i said because you're quite a sensitive soul you're probably very empathic you pick up on people's energies like a sponge this person's going to help you to just ground you okay really 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 ground you and we have the number five the number seven eleven so keep that in mind we'll just have five eight and thirteen Okay, so I'm going to have a look into the tarot. I feel like I'm talking really fast in this group. Like, I feel like I'm getting through this group really quickly. But, I mean, I think... I don't know why. I think because, like, the energy is, like, really potent for this group. 
Right, so you guys are gonna have a lot of choice. I feel like you guys are gonna know who this person is when they come in. Some of you guys, it's gonna be a very, very, very weird meeting. It's gonna be very random. Um, very random. This person's gonna talk to you though. Most likely gonna be older than you, especially if they, especially if you're looking for a male, they're gonna be older than you. That's what they're telling me. You're gonna be thinking about this person because maybe you have had like commitment issues. Maybe you've been worrying about issues with relationships. You're worrying about if this person is the right person. Um, you may have had issues in the past with people as well. Okay, come on cards, come out please. Okay, so it could be with work, you could meet this person through work or like a community project. Um, but I feel like either way, this person's gonna be a really good friend for you. And they're most likely gonna be uh, when you start a new endeavor, but they could also be quite far away from you as well, like in distance form and the moon as well. They're gonna be very, very deep, very deep person. I feel like I'm feeling every single star sign here. So just take it as it resonates. They're gonna be very deep with you though. They're gonna be like reaching the depths that you have never really felt before very sexual very very sexual relationship and we also have the uh six of swords as well so sorry if i said about sexuality and you're not over 18 but you know <laughs> it just had to come out okay so we have the six of swords as well so for you guys um you're going to be letting go of a lot of things that no longer serve you and you're going to be once you find this person i feel like you're going to be like wow i'm really glad i released everything i needed to release to get here I feel like you're gonna be thanking your journey. You're gonna be like, this is why I had to go through all this stuff, okay? You're gonna be like, damn, damn. <laughs> you know, all this strength was worth it. All this death and rebirth. So, Venus, uh, Pisces. I always get confused with Pisces or not. Yes, Pisces. Venus, Pisces, fifth house. This person's gonna be a very strong friend. This person's gonna be a really, really strong friend. Um, most likely gonna be a friend before relationship, but you know, take it as it resonates. It's gonna be different for every single one of you. Um, but this person's gonna be really, really connected to you um, in the sense that they are just really invested in you. And with the fifth house, it's coming to do with dating and things like that. So I feel like this person is gonna be, they're gonna pursue you so well. Like Venus and Pisces are very, very good people. Like if you have Venus and Pisces, props to you because Venus and Pisces is really, really beautiful. It's just like a very cute energy. It's like, I just wanna take care of you. That's all I wanna do. I just wanna take care of you. And they just, I feel like people with Venus and Pisces just endlessly love to, to take care of people. So I really, really love that. That's absolutely beautiful. So with the fifth house in Pisces, I also feel like this person's going to be um, possibly um, connected to like spiritual groups as well. This person's most likely going to be very, very spiritual. They'll approach this relationship in like um, an imaginative, emotional and enchanting way. Like because Pisces are very, very fan like they like fantasy and things like that. OK, so there's somebody who's very, very creative. Um, and they're gonna most likely have children with you as well. And they're going to kind of bring that into your um, relationship as well. And yeah, I feel like this person's gonna be really, really fun. Okay, this person's gonna be very, very fun. And yeah, I love it. It's so lighthearted, guys. So I feel like for this group, you could easily meet this person within like one month. Um, is there anything else you wanna say? March, so maybe like this month, but I feel like more, obviously this is timeless guys, so whenever you watch this, you know, take it as it resonates. Uh, June is also coming through for me. I'm gonna say two months, two months, okay? One to two months, okay? But take it as it resonates, guys, it can be longer. For those of you who haven't, who have recently just come out of a relationship, it's gonna be about a year for you, okay? For those of you who've been single for quite a while, I'm talking like, you know, six months to over over a year and longer, you could easily meet this person in like one to two months, it could be three months as well. But I feel like very soon, I'm, okay, I'm gonna say one to five months, okay? So it could be in between that time, but I feel like very, very soon. For some of you guys, it could be a summer romance as well, like you could meet this person in the summertime or when it's just really hot. For those of you guys who it's hot all year round, I don't know, that's probably really confusing, but, um, but also you guys, I feel like you guys are really letting go of somebody as well and you're learning to um, just go with the flow. And we have the um, the eight here as well, the power of eight. 
infinity sign thank you very much infinity sign so i feel like you guys are coming out of an old cycle as well karma is being rewritten so that's really really beautiful so thank you so much for watching guys i really hope you enjoy this reading if you want a personal reading all the information is down below for that and if you want to check out my jewelry shop the link will be down below after the 26th of march 2020 and yeah i'll speak to you very soon much love bye